And I know I had to stop for a moment. I know it was emotional for me. I had to paint, I had to tape for a well, about what thing was about to come. Uh, the story of Abaton's Miracle. I know, um, Jack for many students who now, former students, I could not act as adult today. I know somebody never want to talk about the past. I know um, one thing we go do is bring the past back to life to tell us so what about how we are spirit of bully. I know um, during my three years going to Abaton Middle School, along with everybody else who went to them, I know that I could feel the, the multiple scar of bully uh, every day at that school. I know um, part one was. Uh, emotional for me. I got emotional like that. I say, oh man, I know I have so impressed my first school year at Abertona Middle School. When sixth grade, my teacher got stolen. I did the right thing, go to the tell somebody my teacher got stolen. I know uh, they expelled those students. I think I didn't see those students again ever since the incident happened. And uh, I would know um, it could be a lot more so we are at my Thomas Middle School in the weeks to come. Uh, it will be to be good So we are at my Thomas Middle School until next week on the War Against Blood Public School. We continue our uh, three part at Thomas Middle School. Part two will be the seventh grade year. Seventh grade year. Start up on a 98-99 school year. And um, since grade was worse, seventh grade was even worse. I'm spending that part two of Abertonis Middle School story next week on the war against Buddha Public School. But right now, I want to talk about the cold comments of today. Well, I about know what's happened. And this where uh, kids afraid to go to school because they are bully. If 5% of students Today, why you go to school? Cause the bully. I was more known to get afraid to go to school every day myself. But you cannot stop going to school. You can't stop quick go to get education. Because I've been there too. Just like some of our kids who are going to bully them and harass every day uh, in middle school. I know um, today there are more. Middle school children get bullied every day, um, more than elementary school, and of course, more than high school. And uh, high school bullying, well, not that much happened in high school bullying on um, early, but I don't know that's true, and I'm gonna find out in a long run. But middle school. And um, a lot of students in middle school, where you go to school. But I understand where it comes from, but don't stop getting education. I know homeschool is probably a big topic for some children. I know one of my business partners, she homeschooled her two kids, plus a newborn. And I'm not going to mention her name. And... Also, a lot of parents homeschool their children because they don't want to take them to public school because of the bullet isolation and court violence. But think about one school a couple years back. Little kids got killed. Back in 1997, three innocent girls had nothing to do with one boy problem because the boy going through the emotion, the press, mental problem because of bullying. That's why every parent needs to know every single day, every single week, see what kids doing on social media like Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, or any other social media web page. That if I had kids of my own, I would monitor what's going on what children do on the social media. Because all these 
bully in school, had to stop, and of course, high school and middle school and college are in workplace, social place. There is no place for bullying. There is no place for hate. There is no place of jealousy of somebody else's life. We all have the same spirit of life trying to make it on this world because life is too short with these nonsense going on today. Thank you, John. Um, we'll be at part two of the War Against Buddha Public School or the Soviet Abaton Middle School next week. I thank the King. I we see you then. Had a good night, and we see you right back here next week for part two. Good night.